So why is intimacy different for men and women? Men and women are just about complete opposites. This includes the area of sex. While men are usually visual beings, women tend to be emotional beings, which causes some difficulty in the bedroom at times. In this video, I'm going to talk about how most men and women are hardwired for intimacy. In other words, I'll try and solve the question, why intimacy is different for men and women? Hi there, my name is Caroline Shinney and I am an intimacy relationship coach. Welcome to you if you're new here and thanks for your support if you're a subscriber. Please, if you like this content, please subscribe, like and hit the notification bell so that you can get all these videos when I upload them. So let's dive in. So basic four needs for men. So I'll go through the men first, okay? So most men will, of course, have about four basic truths when it comes to intimacy. If you can better understand those needs, chances are you will have a better handle on men and intimacy and how to please your husband, all right, or partner. So the number one is the visual nature. So what does intimacy mean to a man? Well, I think it's safe to say that men are very visual creatures by nature. What I mean by that is that men are hardwired to take in all they see, especially seductive sights. So naturally, when it comes to sex, they enjoy taking action. Number two, physical needs. Another reason why intimacy is different for men and women is because of the differences in needs. While women definitely have physical needs, men tend to have higher physical needs than most women. The reason for this is that men are genetically different to a woman. Men usually crave sexual intimacy. Okay, so now number three, the need for respect. So men have a total need for respect in their lives. When a man feels heard and respected, he is more apt to be physically intimate with his wife. But on the flip side, when a wife or partner completely dem demises the partner, chances are he will be more reluctant to go to bed with her. Where a man feels respected, that is where he tends to gravitate. Respecting your husband or partner doesn't mean bowing down to his every word, no. It does merely mean that not talking badly about him to him or to other people and telling him how much you appreciate him and not being a nag. So wives or partners, if you can take small steps to making your husband feel more respected, you can be sure that he'll be turned on. Four, this is number four, wife initiates sex. I get so many men contact me about the fact that their wives don't initiate sex and they don't like it. They really want them to. So through conversations that I've had um, about various things that turn men on, the most common one was this. Why don't their wives do that? So such a simple thing, yet a touchy thing, uh, which we'll get into in a minute. But really, men find marriage intimacy incredible when their wives want them and let them know. The only tip I'll give here is uh, initiate sex, women. Initiate sex or partners to your partner. <laughs> okay, now we're going to the women. Four basic needs for a woman, all right, in intimacy. So the funny and probably most frustrating thing is that women needs... <laughs> The funny and probably most frustrating thing to what intimacy means to a woman is pretty, pretty much the opposite of men's needs. However, if you learn about what women and intimacy, however, if you learn about women and intimacy and what they are, your wife or your partner will be more open to sex. So first of all, they are emotional beings. So what does emotional mean? So what does intimacy mean to a woman? Well, while men are visual, women tend to be more emotional. This means that women are not as turned on by sight alone, but women's need for emotional intimacy can play a significant role. Yes, it's nice to have a good looking husband, but that isn't where women's sexual nature rests. A woman wants to feel desired, feel loved and taken care of. Emotionally, being taken care of makes a woman feel more comfortable and open to the idea of sex. Two, language needs. I was reading an article that today. Language, number two, language needs. I was reading an article today about the fact that women have more neurological pathways in terms of language than men do. 
This explains why women are different to men. This explains why intimacy is different for men and women. Women love to talk, women love to be heard, and a lot of the time, women love to listen. Most men do not love those things. If, however, if you take the time to hear your wife and not always fix her problems, it will only play well for her. If you want to go a step ahead, make sure you tell your wife how much you love and adore her consistently. Three, the need for love. While men need respect, women need love. When a woman feels well loved, she wants to make love to her partner. Husbands, take the time to be sure your wife is being loved. Go out on a limb and ask her if she's feeling loved and if she isn't, change it. Number four, <laughs> this is one I talk about my lives in TikTok quite a lot. Help with daily life. Lastly, women usually have more of a mental load than men. It is a big deal when the man of the house steps into to help carry that load. For example, women tend to, to make lists in their minds of all the things that have to be done in that day and the next day and the next day. These lists make it difficult to turn off the chore tart and turn on the desire button. It's a massive, massive common issue. This is why women so often, um, this is why I so often hear women say that they are the most turned on when they're marked. This is why so often I hear women say they are most turned on when their husband do the dishes or wash the clothes or whatever needs to be checked off their mental list. So, in conclusion, there is no exact reason why men and women have been created so differently, but the differences of why intimacy is different for men and women is mentioned, but the differences of why intimacy is different for men and women mentioned in this video can certainly make an impact on your intimate life. Now, now that you're a little more aware of these factors, you can easily use them to your advantage instead. With some with some selflessness and intention, your physical intimacy can be incredible as a couple. I'll see you on the next video.